It's time for Retire the Right Way with Anthony Wright, President and CEO of Retirement Specialty Group. For the next hour, sit back and enjoy the show. And here is your host, Mark Killian. Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to the show this week. You are listening to Retire the Right Way. I'm your host, Mark Killian. As always, alongside is my co-host, Anthony Wright of Retirement Specialty Group. We're also oh glad you're joining us here today on the show as we talk about the worlds of finance and retirement. As always, Anthony, big dog, how are you, buddy? Mark, great day to you, buddy. I'm doing awesome. How about you? I am doing fantastic and hope everybody's having a good weekend out there. I know you had a good weekend last weekend because uh, that, uh, that final Tennessee victory was something. Man, was that not incredible. <laughs> wow. I stayed up all the whole game watching that and that was incredible. Hey, really? Well, I know that, you know, I know the boys are playing now too, so we'll but we'll keep quiet about all that for now because we'll see. We don't want to do no jinxing, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, say it was a good showing by Tennessee, but unfortunately in a good game like that, somebody has to lose and yeah. somebody has to win and unfortunately you know, for the Georgia Tech fans, Tennessee won. But yep. for us Tennessee fans, we come out on the one-point <laughs> victory, you know. Well, it, always, I, it makes for excitement, really, right? Yep. It wasn't a good game for Tennessee, no, to be quite no, honest. True, with you. true. But it makes for an exciting finish, that's for sure. Oh, oh, no doubt about that. And then the headlines can be something interesting. We're going to talk about that here in just a second. But before we get into today's show, again, thank you for joining us here on Retire the Right Way. If you'd like to reach out to Anthony Wright, you go ahead and give him a call right now. Grab that cell phone that's nearby and dial 888-557-1993. That's 888-557-1993. 93. What happens when you do that? Well, you leave your information on the machine there because obviously we're here on the air and the team will get back with you ASAP and help you in whatever way you need to be helped, whether that's coming in for a consultation, attending an upcoming class event or seminar, or just getting some more information, getting started with uh, the right path for you to head down towards retirement. So reach out to the team right now. There's no cost, no obligation. At any time, you can call 888-557-1993. Get yourself on the calendar, like I said, for a no-cost no obligation consultation. All right, Anthony, so fake news is, well, it's all over the news anymore, right? It seems like every time <laughs> we turn around, all we hear about is some sort of fake news. Doesn't matter from where, it's got to be fake news. So, <laughs> and it's crazy, right? I mean, we both know it's crazy. So let's talk about some possible fake news in the financial space. We'll go ahead and okay. take this uh, hot topic and we'll turn it into a little financial information here. So I'm going to give you some outlandish, fake newsy type sounding headlines and you tell me if it could be real or if it's fake news, okay? Let's do it. All right. Social Security is going broke. <laughs> That's the headline. <laughs> Oh, that is that is with a capital F as in fake. That is capital fake news right there. Okay. All right. Hit, I mean, listen. Me up. Here's the thing. I was very I was very very fortunate. Uh I guess that's been 2 years ago. Yeah, I think it's been a couple of years, yeah. It was under the previous administration and um <clears throat> but the guy was head over the Social Security Department and the whole thing was was he brought us in we all there was there was let's see there was forty of us there and he they flew us in to uh, Omaha Nebraska where Warren Buffett's at and we had a round table for two days and all he did was he took the top forty advisors and and this guy he only answered to the president of the United States which at that time was President Obama so he only answered to President Obama I mean this guy we were getting it straight from the horse's mouth and he told us he said. Please tell your constituents that Social Security is not going broke. If we continued to spend at the limit we're spending right now, it would be 20 years before they ever exhausted it out of money. So right then and there, pretty much the only generation, if it went broke, that it would affect would be mine and yours. Yeah. Right. I mean, if you're already 70 years old, yeah, there's some people living to be 90. I, I would 95. think even if you're 55, you know, yeah. 55 to 60, you're probably all right. Yeah. 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 55, 60, you're, you're still all right. But then he said this, and it, and it made so much sense. Now, once again, you got to remember this was under the previous administration where they had Correct. funded, I forgot how much, how many trillions of dollars it was they funded to bail out the financial institutions. Right. Right. Yeah. So, he was telling us as advisors, he goes, here's the only time you ever hear that Social Security is going broke, around the election time. 
So anytime an election comes up, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna kick and scream and holler that the social security system's going broke and blah 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 blah. And he said that is just simply not true. He said there is no president of the United States, there is no congressman, no senator going to step before the American people and go, we spent all your money and your checks are going to stop and you won't have one come the first of the month next month. It's just not going to happen, yeah. people. And, he <laughs> and if said, it does, the they're not getting reelected, that's for sure, right? Well, yeah, well, obviously, <laughs> right? And there'd be a civil war. I mean, there'd be uh, yeah, people no, charging right. the White House with guns, right? Well, we have too many, right? There's way too many uh, baby boomers in, in well, this situation, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and he said if they pass a stimulus package, which they did, if they pass a stimulus package to bail out financial institutions, don't you think the president and Congress would would sign into law and bail out the Social Security? They just refund it because our our currency is backed by nothing. It's just printed on a printing press. So yeah. and you remember you you remember that a couple of years ago, don't you, Mark? I mean, it was like what it was like it was like two trillion or something. Yeah, right? it's one of those things. I think they always lord that over our head. It's always a topic of conversation that well, it's running out, and we've got to do this stimulus, or we've got to do this tax program. I think it's one of those bartering chips that just is forever going to be on that political table. You Agreed. know. And yeah. so uh, I would definitely agree with you that it's it's fake news, um, at least for the next 10 to 15 years. I think Social Security going broke, that's our headline here uh, for our fake news segment on uh, Retire the Right Way, is that it's it's there's changes coming, but yeah. uh, I think going broke is a bit of an exaggeration. Let's continue playing on with our game here, Anthony, of fake news. Again, if you'd like to talk to Anthony Wright, it's 888-557-1993. Go ahead and give a call or text him. Go ahead and text the letters RSG to 555-888. That is RSG to 555-888. No cost, no obligation. Uh, okay, the crash of the dollar is imminent. You must buy gold now. How's that for news? Well, you know, there's there's quite a bit of truth in, in that. Okay, um, all right. The reason is because... When the when the stock market it and it is it is imminent that the market's going to have a correction, so now we now you know, this is er, the crash er, of the dollar earlier. though not the market the dollar the dollar bill yeah 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 but the dollar follows the market okay fair enough yeah so <clears throat> like right now we got a strong dollar because we got a strong market and we got a strong you know interest rate so we, you're seeing it play out that's what I that's what I was getting ready to tell you the previous administration we talked about funded trillions of dollars to, to these financial institutions. Look at the current administration. The current administration currently, as you and I are, are recording today, um, is kind of kind of threatening to duke it out with China, right, over this North Korea stuff, right? right? So what's happening is they're saying, well, anybody that does business with North Korea, we're going to cut them off from the U.S., so then China is saying, well, that's, you know, that's not fair. So anyway, everybody listening knows that's going on. Right. What, what is that about? That's about the U.S. dollar. That's about if, if the U.S. dollar tanks, what is it that does really good? Gold and silver, which is commodities. So there's a little bit of truth in that because our dollar is not backed by the gold standard anymore. Now, back in back in the early days, I think it was Nixon, wasn't it, that pulled it off? Yeah, Nixon's one pulled it out. Yep, yep. But back at back before that, uh, everybody is very familiar with Fort Knox. You know, I mean, we used that growing up as kids. You know, well, that's that's tighter than Fort Knox. Well, there's no gold in Fort Knox anymore, so our our currency is not backed by anything. It's backed by the printing press. So if we go into hard times. And something happens, and they 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 devalue the dollar. It's just printed on a on a on a printing press. Now, yeah. I understand that can be kind of doomsday, and I'm not a doomsday guy because I'm a very optimistic kind of person. But I understand that kind of sounds a little doomsday. But folks, the reality is we have to understand that the only reason we pull the wallet out of our pocket today and go to Walmart or any store and hand them that dollar and they accept it is because the U.S. government says they accept it. If they come out tomorrow and said they don't accept it, our dollars is just paper with ink on them. You, you, could, you could light a match to them and just burn them. They mean nothing if, if the current administration, and, and they won't. I'm not trying sure. to scare people. Right, They're right. not going to do that. But you just have to understand that, that if the dollar does collapse, 
you want to buy some gold and you want to buy some silver to hedge against that. Now, I like how you said, you know, the crash of the dollar's going to buy gold now. Well, right. I'm not saying buy gold right now, you right. know, but but I am saying that it would be smart to take 10% of your portfolio uh, and and buy some gold and silver and just put it in a safe so that in the case that the American dollar drops value or something happens with the American dollar, then I would you would be safe you would be protected, and you would hedge against that dollar crash. If it don't happen, it's okay. Then you got some gold and silver in your safe. Now, people always say, well, what about what about the uh, safety deposit box at the bank? The only problem I have with that is you guys all know that are listening today, you guys all know that, and again, Mark, my timeline here is fuzzy, but wasn't it just a year ago that, or a year or two ago that, that everybody in Greece had to run on the banks and then you couple, could only get like $60 a day yeah, from the bank? It was bank? a couple of years ago, but yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so so the same thing if the dollar devalues and, and collapses, then the same thing's going to happen here. So you don't want to put it in a bank. Um, so I, I, I would say don't don't panic. This is not a panic situation. This is not a go buy gold right now. But just uh, consider it as, in, consider it as in, an in option, our clients, right? In our office, we do sell gold and silver and platinum and copper. Uh, I don't advertise that a lot because I'm, I'm, I deal straight with a refinery or state, straight with the U.S. Mint. So we do that, and if you're, if you're listening today and you've been listening to me for a while and you think, Anthony, I'd like to buy some gold or I'd like to buy some silver or copper or platinum, whatever it is, uh, we, we do that. So, you know, feel free to let me know when you come and sit down and meet with me that you would like to have some, I buy it at spot, sell it at spot. Now, if you're listening and you wonder what that means, that means that if it's going for 1300 an ounce, that's what we buy it at 1300 an ounce. And if we sell it at 1500 an ounce, we sell it at 1500 an ounce. So I buy it and sell it for what it's trading at. And I only do that for my clients. That's why I don't advertise it too much, Mark. But I got you. since you're on the topic, we'll go ahead and bring it up. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go ahead and uh, we're going to break for a commercial here in a second. But before we do, we'll come back to our fake news segment here, since that's all the rage, it seems like, on the channels everywhere nowadays. Uh, before we do, let's go ahead and talk about some real news. And that is what people can really expect when they come in to talk with you, Anthony. What they really get if they would like to find out about how to get going. Maybe, uh, maybe get into a different asset class, like the precious metals, or whatever the case is. Really diversify their retirement portfolio and make sure that they're are going to be uh, the right way in retirement. What we do for them is we give them a one hour, no obligation consultation to come in, sit down, talk with me. We go over uh, w w what you're currently invested in, what you're wanting to be invested in, where you're headed. We call that a financial GPS. Now, when you get in your automobile and you're going from point A to point B, you enter an address and that GPS gets you there. But when it comes to investing in retirement, nobody has that. So what we do, we sit down and we go through, take you about 45 minutes to an hour. We'll go through, this is where you're at, this is where you're wanting to go. Here's the asset classes you're currently in. Here's your current risk score. Here's what we would propose, which would level you out a little more. So this would be your your risk score upon completion of what we recommend. We take a look at what fees you're paying, how much it's costing you to be in that fund. Are you properly diversified? A lot of people think they're diversified, Mark, but they're in 100 different stocks. Yeah. If you're in 100 different stocks and the market crashes, you're not diversified at all, right? No. <laughs> so, so we make sure that they are properly diversified. So how do you do that? You come in and you sit down and you meet with us. Only cost you about forty-five minutes of your time, at the most an hour of your time. So pick up the phone, call me today, eight 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 five five seven nineteen ninety three. You can also text RSG to five 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 eight eight eight. If you want to shoot me an email, email me info at retirementspecialtygroup dot com. But once again, if you're listening today and you, you really probably are listening on a radio, obviously, because you can't hear us any other way. So that means you got a free hand. So take your free hand, pick up the phone and call. So 888-557-1993. Text RSG to 555-888. And we'll give you a no obligation, 45 minute to hour, no obligation, complimentary 
visit just to make sure you're properly diversified. Make sure you're headed in the right direction. Okay, folks. So go ahead and make sure you reach out to Anthony. Uh, now, don't text while you're driving, though. So even if you have that free hand, no texting while driving. But uh, pull over to the side of the road. I don't know. Or if you need to, grab a pen, pencil, crayon, eyeliner, whatever's handy, and write <laughs> down the number, 888-557-1993. Really seriously, folks, it's, it's a great way to make sure that you're on the right path. You come in, you sit down, you have a consultation with Anthony. He's a very very likable, very polite guy. You're going to have a good conversation. And if you, even if it doesn't work out, you're going to leave with more education than you came in with. Uh, and it gives you a chance to just find out if you're going to be okay in retirement. Because, hey, after all the years of working, we certainly want to make sure that we are going the right way in retirement. 888 You're listening to Retire the Right Way. We'll be right back. For your free financial GPS, call 888-557-1993. That's 888-557-1993 for your no-cost, no-obligation consultation. Tennessee, the volunteer state, home of Rocky Top. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee. Ooh, that's one of my favorite songs, and we sure know how to do things the right way right here in the volunteer state. So keep listening as there is more Retire the Right Way in just a moment. You're back here with us on Retire the Right Way with Anthony Wright. I'm Mark Killian. Of course, Anthony is the president and CEO at Retirement Specialty Group. If you'd like to get started with Anthony, well, you know what to do. But if not, I'll tell you again. 888-557-1993. That's 888-557-1993 to get started on your retirement planning and your retirement future. Uh, small business owners, they're particularly vulnerable you know, to misconceptions and kind of false assumptions about their retirement because they feel as though they don't have some of those same options that folks that work at a uh, a company do. So let's address a few of those, Anthony, and see if we can help them out a little bit. Absolutely. Very, very true statement. Okay. So, you know, number one, as a business owner, if I execute my business plan, my retirement plan will also take care of itself. Is that, is that right? Is that, well, you know, I mean, is that a misconception? It, well, it's easy to fall into the assumption, right? That okay. when you're putting your heart and soul as well as your money into your business, I mean, the idea is, is that you're going to create enough value in the business that it'll fund your retirement plan later, right? Sure. Yeah, you hope I mean, so, but, right? Yeah, but I mean, that's, you know, that's some pretty vague, vague thinking. I mean, if there's not a specific plan in place, you know, there's a good chance that it that it won't work out. Uh, it, it, it's very wise to establish some tax-deferred retirement accounts and fund them uh, religiously, if possible, instead of relying on, you know, too heavily on the business itself. I mean, can you imagine being the guy that developed and invited and, and invented the encyclopedia <laughs> <laughs> or the typewriter? Right. Sure. Sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, they put their heart and sweat and tears and blood into it and thinking that, you know, when I, when I get this business built up, you know, I'm going to sell it and, and retire. And now encyclopedias don't exist anymore. Now it's, Wikipedia, right, <laughs> right, know? right. I got you, you know, and typewriters yeah. don't exist anymore. You know, it's it's all done over the internet. So, you're you're much much better off to set up your own retirement plan. Now, this one is very dear to my heart because I'm a business owner myself, right? I mean, I'm the I'm the founder, I'm the president and CEO of Retirement Specialty Group, and that's why we're on here today. Absolutely. So, you know, it's very dear to my heart. Now, and and one of the pet peeves that I have as a business owner is and and I know I know I'm going to I know I'm going to twist a lot of ears when I when I say this but I'm but I'm talking about this from from a business owner perspective I am not a big fan of your traditional IRAs now I know a lot of ears just perked up okay all right <laughs> we'll explain it and and here and here's why when you're a business owner, they limit you in a traditional IRA to a $5,500 a year contribution. Well, do the math on that, folks. In 10 years, you've only put in $55,000, right? Yep. All right. Now, of course, naturally, that don't count any gains, but it also don't count any losses. So if you put $5,500 in there and you've got this uh, $55,000 in there 10 years down the road, you've put this money in an IRA 
and now the market has taken some of it away from you, you're going to find yourself in a very bad situation at retirement. So I always ask business owners when we sit down and meet with business owners, and, and at first you can kind of tell the look on their face. It's kind of like, well, duh. But I always ask them, had you rather retire and pay taxes or had you rather retire tax-free? Hmm. And they yeah. kind of look at you, you know, and they kind of go, well, duh, right. tax-free. Sure. So if you want to retire tax-free, there are much better tools out there other than a traditional IRA. And and there are tools out there that, that myself and a lot of my friends that are business owners are in. There is no limit as to what you can contribute to that IRA funder, to that I probably shouldn't say IRA. I should probably say retirement fund. There you go. Yep. So there are there are unlimited amount of money that you can contribute in that retirement fund. And then when you get 10 years down the road, instead of if you're lucky and the market didn't take it away, you got 55000 in there. Now 10 years down the road, you could have 500000 in there. Now you're talking some serious retirement. So I'm not a big a uh, fan of saying let's do a traditional IRA there are some things that like uh, SEP uh, a KEO plan there's some deferred compensation plans there's some good things on the market that we can set up that you can establish a good retirement if you're a business owner and then when you retire at the end of your career you will retire tax free so 10, 15, 20 years down the road, it don't matter what the tax bracket is. It don't matter what the taxes are. You could care less because you're going to be retiring tax-free. That, my friend, is a good retirement plan. Wouldn't you agree, Mark? I would say that sounds pretty good. And obviously, you definitely had some passion about that. You, know, you have some some thoughts on there. And, and as you said, I'm sure that might tweak some years, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Right. Uh, and of course, we're talking about retirement planning for business owners on this final segment of the show this week. And we've got some more topics here, Anthony, I'll let you expound on. Uh, you know, some you hear business owners say, well, I know what the value of my business is. And you know, even at an unspecified point in the future, I believe that value will be enough for me to retire on. Is that a, you know, is that a bad idea to think that way to, to kind of go in there with a misconception of that? Well, I mean, most business owners are disappointed to find out that their business is, is worth less than they think it is, really. And the reason and the reason and I'm a business owner and the reason that happens is because, you know, my goodness, I mean, we we've birthed a baby. You know what I mean? Well you've got you a know, lot yeah, it's it means a lot more to you maybe than the person potentially buying it. Exactly. And and the amount that, that you know, the amount that, that potential buyer may be willing to pay for your business based on me you know, there, there's a lot of different factors that that, that could be based on. And, and they're and trying many, to get it. They're trying to get it for as low as they can get it because well, they, sure they, they want to get off on the right on the right foot for themselves. Sure, they are. And and it also it also depends on the market at the time you're ready to retire. I mean, what if you're what if you're in the oil well business right now trying to sell? Yeah, true. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, I mean, right now, you know, you you could have an oil well and you couldn't give it away. Yeah, yeah, because nobody would want to buy it. <laughs> you know, so. It it all depends on it all depends on how smart and educated you are with your retirement plan. Take control. The best advice I would give a business owner or anybody as far as that goes, take control of your own retirement. You know, sit down with a professional like myself and and, and all the other advisors that work for me. Sit down and take time and, and put a good plan together. You know, put that Put that financial GPS plan together so that you don't find yourself going, oh, no, what am I going to do now that I'm retired, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, keeping it in the business theme, uh, is it – do you find that a lot of times people just the, – the, I guess the last-ditch effort or the – I don't know if I want to say it that way, but just one of the last resorts is that as a business owner you go, well, I'm approaching retirement and I don't want to work the business anymore, so I'll just sell it and I'll make enough off the sale to support myself. Yeah, I mean that that is out there. I mean that's that happens all the time. Um, you know, but I mean, what if selling the business to someone outright just isn't possible? I mean, you you got to deal with that. You got to cross that bridge. Uh, we don't, you know. Okay, yes, there are success stories out there. Now, I, I have several of them that are my clients. I mean, there there are success stories out there. You know, a dad and his son 
developed at this hardware store, and uh, they had like 26, 28 stores. And then uh, Home Depot come into town and bought them all out. You know, I mean, they bought they bought the whole family out. And so the family set up a trust fund, and now the son's like 32 years old, and he's retired. <laughs> sure, but I, I imagine just for that, there's also the one where, uh, you know, they have a small, you know, hardware store in a local town, and, har- exactly. and you know, Lowe's comes in and sets up shop, and it just crushes them. It, it crushes them, and they go out of business. And no, so, one, no one wants to buy it because there's, there's no viable market for them. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And that's you got to cross that bridge. You've got to be ready to accept the fact that that could happen to you. Well, and if you know if you're sitting there today and you're thinking in five years I'm going to retire, and you you know I mean Mark, you're 100 percent spot on. I mean you may be sitting there with a local hardware store going, hey, this thing's worth you know seven hundred thousand dollars today, and it may be today. Oh yeah, today, it may be. Yeah, yeah. But then but then in five years, by the time you retire, you know Lowe's comes in, sets up shop, or the economy drops, and now. And now what's what's the old adage? Your business is only worth what somebody will pay you, right? Right, right. Well, and then that brings up the, the options of owner financing. Uh, a family member of mine had a, a small business a few years ago, and they really wanted to sell it and retire and get out. Couldn't find anybody to buy it, and finally they got someone who was interested, but they wanted them to do owner financing. And, uh, you yeah. know, so now you're thinking, okay um, – that's going to eat into my potential retirement because they're not just buying this thing out for me. Uh, I have to kind of work with them in, on installment payments that maybe aren't the payment you know amount that I was hoping for. That's right. And then and then you hope like heck they pay. Right. <laughs> right. And, and, I mean, it's almost like renting a home, right? If they don't if they don't is. pay, eventually you got to evict them and take the business back, and now you're back to working it again. So, yeah. you know, we yeah. don't, and I don't want us to scare business owners by any means and say, oh, owning a business means you're screwed when it comes to retirement. Um, that's not the case at all. It's just, these are things to just think about, uh, maybe some misconceptions that are easy to, to kind of go, well, the business, I'm a business owner and in America, that means I'm going to automatically be successful. And anybody who's owned a business, you know, in this country knows that is not an automatic given. You have to work very, very hard. Uh, to make sure that your business is successful. And you should work as equally hard to make sure that your retirement is going to be successful as well. Absolutely. And that's, you know, that's that's what we specialize in. I mean, that's that's the whole reason that we we love to sit down with people and, and we love to, to put these financial GPSs together. You know, I I was I was uh, you know, a few years back, I was sitting there one day and I was thinking, you know, every time we go on vacation, we get in our car and we plug in this address of where we want to go, and it tells us how to get there. But yet every single day of the week, you know, our our multiple offices, you know, we're meeting with 10, 15 people a day, and, and, and nobody's coming in with a plan anymore. So there's something wrong when you can get in your car and plug in your address and know where you're going. But when it comes to retirement and investing, nobody has it. And with business owners, it seems like business owners are, are, are the world's worst because – they think that they can just up and sell this business and that's going to be their retirement. And I tell you, I've got a special passion in my heart for business owners because I'm the owner of Retirement Specialty Group. And, and you know, if you'll just pick up the phone and, and call me, uh, you know, Mark, they can reach me at 888-557-1993. Pick up that phone, call, get an appointment with us set into proper motion that roadmap. All right, let's get that roadmap started. Let's get going the right direction with Anthony Wright. Retirement Specialty Group, 888-557-1993, 888-557-1993. Get yourself on the calendar. Get on into the uh, to the office there. Sit down and have a conversation with Anthony, and he's going to talk to you straight, give you some financial straight talk, and get you on the right path towards retirement. 888-557-1993. If you're a baby boomer like me and are overwhelmed by all the potential claiming options for Social Security and not sure which choice is the right one, just pick up the phone and call Anthony Wright at Retirement Specialty Group before making any decisions. After a lifetime of working, surely you can spare one hour of your time to get a free, no-cost, no-obligation financial GPS at Retirement Specialty Group. Call 888-557-1993. That's 888-557-1993. You know that old saying that men don't ask for directions? Well, let me tell you the best decision I ever made was contacting Anthony Wright at Retirement Specialty Group to ask for help on getting to and through my retirement. And that is one set of directions I plan to follow. 
Hey, thanks for sticking with us on Retire the Right Way. My name is Mark Killian, and I'm here alongside Anthony Wright, the president and CEO of Retirement Specialty Group. And this is the show that helps you plan and get prepared for your retirement journey. And Anthony, I thought we would do some agree or disagree with some interesting quotes from some notable famous retirement or financial guys, if you will, and get your spin on what these high profile personalities have to say about the financial world. That sounds fun. Yeah. You want, all right, right, let's play a little bit. So now you tell me what you think on some of these statements, Jim Cramer. Now, for those of you who don't automatically know the name, Jim Cramer is that yelling guy, that mad money guy on uh, one of those stations. And he's always like smashing coffee cups and things of that nature. And uh, he's a real animated kind of uh, kind of guy. And Jim Cramer says, we're all wrong so often that it amazes me that we can have any conviction at all over the direction of anything to come. But we must. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Leave it up to Jim Cramer, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, that's 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 a mouthful. We're all wrong so often that it amazes me that we can have any conviction. Hmm. Well, well, I mean, look, I mean, can anybody sit here and pick the stock market? No, uh, and and it never fails, right, Mark? Right. Anytime you try to you try to take what your next door neighbor, you know, man, I bought I bought Facebook when it when it first came out on the market, and man, I've tripled my money, and then you go buy Facebook, and what happens? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, and and you know, actually, sad enough. This this happened to to my own mother, and <clears throat> she she called me one day and she said, "Hey son," she said, "this uh, this this lady that works with me is talking about, and it was this real popular stock. I won't name it because sure. everybody knows who it is. Sure, no problem. And 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 so she was like, she was like, you think it'd be all right if I if I threw a little money at it? And I'm like, well, mom, look, is it gonna hurt you if you throw a little money at it and you lose it? No." Is it going to hurt you if you throw a little money at it and make it? Hey, you'll be happy, right? So what do you got to lose? So she throws a little money at it, and I be son of a gun. It's been over a year now, and she hadn't made a single penny. <laughs> <laughs> so and, in a way, I kind of agree with Jim Cramer. I mean, in a way, we're all wrong so often. Right, it, right. <laughs> you know, yeah, so. I was I was going to say, on this, it's it's a wordy quote, but I, in, at its heart, I kind of agree with it. We're wrong too much uh, to really get pumped up about saying we're right this time. But you kind of have to, right? Right. You right, kind of have right. to. You got to have some faith that things are going to uh, pull forward, if you will, or pull through. So uh, that was our Jim Cramer quote. Let's move over to Dave Ramsey. I'm sure there's a lot of folks out there who know Dave Ramsey. Um, he's obviously all over the airwaves a lot. And Dave says, you don't need a credit score. To him, credit is a I love debt score. Agree or disagree? Well... I, you know, I, I somewhat disagree. I, I agree in the fact that you should not be in debt. And, and what I, I, I kind of say it like this, Mark, I, I call it stupid debt and smart debt. Now, a lot <laughs> okay. of, now, now, a lot of people look at that and they go, well, what do you mean? Well, credit card is stupid debt, right? I mean, you don't want to have, you don't want to have $15,000 in credit card debt accruing at 14, 15% interest. Four, I mean, that's, 14, more like 28, 29, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that's just not smart. So I would, I would say that if you have credit card debt at, at that level, then I would agree with Dave Ramsey. I would, I would say, cut the credit cards up, find a way to pay that balance off, get it paid off and stay away from credit cards. Now on smart debt, uh, in fact, I have a client that it's really ironic you asked this question because they were here in my office last week and he had sold his house. He had $170,000 and that was, that was cash money. He didn't, he didn't, he'd already paid taxes on it. He didn't owe anything else. And he asked me, he said, Anthony, do I invest this $170,000? and make a, a pretty good return on it? Or do I go pay cash for the house? Okay. Well, so, so, what I, so what I call smart debt, 
All right, he was 72 years old. So he got a mortgage loan for 3.15%, but by smart investing, where he wasn't risking any of his principal, I was able to get him quite a bit more than that. So I, I would call that smart debt. You know, maybe you have maybe you have some debt on your home and that home is going up faster in value than than it, it's worth it's worth your time to keep that home and let that value go up than it is to try to pay that home off and then turn around and do something stupid with the money is that does that right. make sense or am i am i being am i being clear what i'm trying to say yeah i mean so dave's quote obviously is you know not needing credit score and the credit is about you know i love debt and so i i do agree with uh with what you're saying that that there's ways to have smart debt and stupid debt and obviously frivolous debt is is one of those stupid, you know, kind of debts where you can just get yourself in in the hot water. I think Dave's quote for me, I, I think I disagree because that's like saying I don't need a job. Well, right. the reality is is true. You may not need a job if you choose to live off the grid and grow your own food and, and raise your own food and things of that nature. There's ways to do that. But the reality is in our country and in the way our system is, you need a credit score to, in right. order to do things that, you know, you're going to want to do like take care of your children and have a home for them to live in and things of that nature. So I disagree with Dave on that, but I know his thing is, is that he likes people to be, you know, completely debt free. And that's definitely not a bad thing at all. So uh, in that respect, I'll, I'll say I disagree, but I was going to, that's what I was going to say to you. I, you know, I was going to say, you have to understand where Dave Ramsey comes from. Right. His, his entire pitch is pay off debt and pay cash for everything, pay off debt and pay cash for everything, and pay it's, off debt, and pay cash for everything. And it's not the worst idea, but there are no. times when you, when you do need uh, some other pieces to the puzzle. Exactly. And, and, and if you're listening this morning and you're a business owner, I mean, there's just times business owners need line of credit. Right. Right. I mean, you know, you got, I mean, you got to be smart about it, but you also have to understand where Dave's coming from. So I'm going to, I'm going to jump in the same wagon you're in, Mark, and I'm going to say that I, I disagree with it. All right. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's move over to maybe the king, right? And, uh, the king of investing and the king of, the markets or whatever you want to lay it out. And that's Mr. Warren Buffett. And not many people can argue that this guy doesn't know what he's doing when it comes to uh, financial advice. And he says, successful investing takes time, discipline, and patience. No matter how great the talent or the effort, some things just take time. This is the best part. You can't produce a baby in one month by getting nine different women pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> now, I agree with this one. I think this one is pretty genius. So how do you not agree with Warren Buffett? I mean, the greatest investor of all times, or if not, he should be, right? Right. I mean, if not, he's he, in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> he's in the Hall of Fame. So I absolutely agree with successful investing takes time, discipline, and patience. And, you know, you got to get a plan developed. And then when you get that plan developed, you got to work the plan. Well, I had this this lady that she we got this plan all designed for her, and I I, I got the... I got the attorneys involved. I got the CPAs involved. We had the perfect plan. And she was going to contribute X amount of dollars every quarter. And every quarter she was going to put that in there. And the whole purpose for the plan was because she didn't want her children and her grandchildren to be left owing a lot of taxes if she died. So the first quarter rolls around and she calls me up and I, I thought, okay, great. She's bringing her first payment in. You know what she was calling to tell me, Mark? What's that? She took that dead gum money and bought a brand new car. <laughs> <laughs> so here, here, here we had this awesome design plan. The attorneys worked on it. I worked on it. The accountants worked on it. We had this perfect plan. And the first payment, she went and bought a brand new car with it instead of putting it in the estate in 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 the in the state plan that we had put together for her. so well that's gonna, the discipline right that's the, uh, that's, that's the that's, discipline and the patience that's why i'm gonna agree 100 percent with warren buffett man yeah. you gotta you gotta have patience and discipline absolutely well and like we said you know he's definitely in the hall of fame so one of those guys that i would definitely 
heed some of that advice for sure. Uh, now, this other one's a little controversial. We'll, we'll stay away from the controversy. But Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump's quote is, and do you agree or disagree? And his, his quote is, sometimes your best investments are the ones that you don't make. I actually agree with this one. Sometimes the best investment is the one you don't make. And I think that comes back to the patience and the discipline. I agree 100%. I, I think the best investments a lot of times are the ones you don't make. And I I think he is 100% spot on with that. Sometimes you just got to you just got to walk away. I mean, you there's right. just there's just times that you have to say enough is enough yep. and and I'm walking away. So You got to you got to pull a Kenny Rogers once in a while, right? You got to know when to hold them, when to fold them, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. Got to know when to hold them, got to know when to fold them. So I do agree with Donald Trump on this one. Sometimes your best investments are the ones that you don't make. I don't think we need a lot of elaboration on that one. So we'll move on to Tony Robbins. Um, If you're not familiar with Tony Robbins, the motivational speaker, very large guy, does tons of uh, workshops and self-help books and things across the country. And he says, stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. Now, I really like this one. I think this has a, a lot of merit to it. And I definitely say I agree with this. Stay committed. When you make a decision, you know, you've got to you got to kind of see that decision through a little bit, even if it if it starts to waver. But just stay flexible in how you are going to handle it and how you're going to approach things. Yeah, I'm going to agree with with Tony there also. I I like that. Uh, I believe you got to stay committed to the decision, but at the same time, you got to stay flexible in your approach. And a very wise man told me a long time ago that if you'll stay flexible, you won't ever have to worry about getting bent out of shape. <laughs> so, that had to have been a football coach. Exactly. So <laughs> so I, I like that, and I and I live by that, and I practice that. And, you know, Mark, every week that you and I do our show, you know, and we get we get a lot of calls and we get a lot of things coming in through email and, and different things. And, you know, I developed the financial GPS, which is the roadmap of how to get not only to retirement, but get through retirement. And so what I would like to do this week is is I would like to offer the listeners that are listening this morning. It's about a five hundred dollar value. Now, obviously, you you told them earlier when we come on that that you know we're we're in Nashville, Knoxville, Chattanooga, Crossville. I mean, we have a large audience now, and um, I can't personally see everybody, but I do have an outstanding staff. I have a tremendous group of financial representatives that work with me, and um, anybody that's listening to the show this morning, if they will call right now. The next 10 callers that call, I will give them that one-hour complimentary session to sit down with one of my financial representatives and determine if they qualify to get that financial GPS. And if they do, it's absolutely free. It costs them nothing. And that's a $500 value that I will do for free. And Mark, that's hard to beat. you got to admit that. All right, folks, you can't beat that. It's a great offer from Anthony Wright, and it's something that we do, obviously, each and every week. So if you've listened to the show uh, before, maybe numerous times, you know, as as we've said throughout the program, don't procrastinate. Pick up the phone. Get started. Um, It's complimentary. It normally would cost you, but, hey, come on in and get started with a conversation and just find out where you stand. Let's turn those uh, uh, ifs into even ifs. And what I mean is, is if everything goes great, you, you should be able to retire okay. Well, how about even if there's a setback with the market or even if uh, there's a change in health care or there's a change in my health, I'm going to be okay in retirement. And how you do that is by getting a plan in place and working that plan. We preach it each and every week on the show. Get a plan. And then put that plan in place and work it. And Anthony will help design a plan for you that's specific and customized to you because you are not the same as your neighbor. 888-557-1993. 888-557-1993. This is Retire the Right Way. We'll be right back. For your free financial GPS, call 888-557-1993. It's the perfect opportunity to make sure that you're on the right road for retirement. 
Anthony Wright and his team at Retirement Specialty Group always focus on good, solid, common sense planning so that you can retire successfully. All you have to do to get the planning process started is make that call, 888-557-1993, and get that comprehensive financial review absolutely free. There is no obligation. Again, 888-557-1993 to get started today. Retirement Specialty Group's logo is a lion, L-I-O-N. It stands for loving individuals over numbers. And I think we all could use a little more of that. Now, back to the show. Well, you're back here with us on Retire the Right Way. Mark Kelly and Anthony Wright, as always, on the airwaves talking to you today about the world of finance and retirement. And uh, on this episode, or episode, <laughs> on this uh, segment of the show, I thought, Anthony, we would discuss some Warren Buffett and some of his pretty great quotes. Obviously, you know, Warren Buffett is the um, guru, I guess, or obviously one of the really recognizable names in the world of finance. And so let's discuss some of his memorable quotes and uh, and then get your take on some of these and see how we fare here on Retire the Right Way. 888-557-1993 is your number to call to talk to Anthony Wright. 888-557-1993 to come in and discuss whatever you'd like to discuss, really. Uh, go ahead and leave your contact information. The team will get right back with you, get you scheduled for a no-cost, no-obligation consultation. And you can discuss your specific personal situation with Anthony and really get started and find out uh, if you're going the right way for retirement. And if not, get you a plan, get you that financial GPS from Anthony, get started with that today, and make sure that you're going to get where you want to be in retirement. It'll help you get there turn by turn. Great resource, great uh, strategy to go with with Anthony Wright. So reach out, give him a call, 888-557-1993, all around the area, Chattanooga, Knoxville, Crossville, Sparta, and all points in between. All right, so Warren Buffett, here you go. I'm going to toss a couple out at you. Uh, one of his quotes is, someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. Uh, I think that re applies to retirement planning like just gangbusters. What do you think? Oh, it absolutely does. And I, and that's that's one of my favorite quotes that, that, you know, Warren uses. And basically, you know, your retirement savings didn't appear overnight. I mean, let's be honest. Right. Right. Exactly. I mean, it took a long time for that tree to grow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You know. Yep. I mean, a lot of the, a lot of times these, these folks have worked 40 years, you know, 40, 46 years. So it's took a long time to, to water and fertilize and grow that tree. And, um, you know, they, I mean, they represent a lifetime of hard work and discipline. So, you know, you don't, you don't want to make hasty decisions with that kind of money and just throw it out there in the, in the market and let people take it away from you. Plus the world we live in today, we're in a lawsuit happy world, man. I, I tell you, before before folks lay their head down tonight on their pillow, they're going to see two or three commercials. You know, in a wreck, need a check. What the heck? Yeah, yeah. Call for me. Sure. You know, so you got to protect yourself nowadays from lawsuits. You got to protect yourself from creditors. You got to protect yourself from from uh, the stock market. You got a lot of different things you got to protect yourself from because it took a long time to grow that tree. Yeah, I don't know about you, Anthony, but I don't want anybody knocking down my retirement cherry tree or whatever tree uh, happens to float your boat. But uh, you get the idea. That didn't take. Uh, it didn't happen overnight, and so you want to make sure that you're doing the diligence. You know, you, we work hard. We work a long time to get to retirement. Don't make a misstep in retirement that could set you back because your time horizon just isn't there anymore to recover. You just don't have the time to come back from all that. So we want to make sure that we're doing the right things. And of course, you know, getting a second opinion is always a good way to go. And of course, we'll talk more about that momentarily. But uh, let's uh, continue on with some different quotes from Mr. Warren Buffett. How about this one? This one's a pretty good one, too. Uh, the price is what you pay. The value is what you get. That's a good one, too. I mean, that's really good. It's, it's not always about simply finding a portfolio manager with the lowest management fee, right? Yeah, I mean you can yeah, you could find somebody who says, I you know, I've got the cheapest fees in town. Yeah, and and, and you get what you pay for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it, it it's okay to pay more if there's if the value is there. On the other hand, I mean many people are paying what they feel is, is very low fees, but but they're getting such little value that it really isn't worth it. I mean I I talk to people every day, Mark, that say you know, they get so tired of calling the 800 number and then they never get anybody on the phone that knows what they're doing. 
Right. And and it, and then, you know, they have to go through all the prompts, you know, push one, push two, push three, push four. Well, if, you know, if you're six foot two and you have brown hair, push this. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's <laughs> right, right. You know, and then everybody goes, well, I used to have brown hair until I colored it and then, you know, it turned gray. Now I'm brown. Then I'm, <laughs> Which button know. do I push? Yeah, exactly. You know, you get the point. It's just people get so tired of calling these 800 numbers and then. And then they get the wrong department, and then nobody knows what they're talking about. So it's not always uh, it, it, that you're getting this super deal. You, you know, you are getting what you pay for. Yeah, absolutely. And and I will say that while we give out an 800 number here on the show, uh, and you do get a recording usually because we're on the show, uh, a human being, a very real human being, gives you a call back. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, that's right. Uh, and, uh, and you don't have to press one for English or, or anything of that nature. So uh, Brian Allen will give you a call back, and he's a good old fella. He's a good old Tennessee fella as well. Uh, so uh, Warren Buffett, we're going to finish off here, Anthony, with uh, with these next two, and then we'll, we'll get out of here for the day and let folks get on about their day but i always thought this one was funny only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked <laughs> <laughs> oh i love that one <laughs> i everybody thinks they're an investing genius right when the market's rocking upward you know yeah everybody's got the, the next hot day, tip right yeah they said they said well you know i've been doing pretty good you know with my current advisor where i'm at you know i'm up like 28 percent. and i said well yeah of course you're you know you're up the market's up, you know, 50, 60 percent. I mean, anytime the market's in the upward direction, it's easy to be an advisor. Right. But, you know, when you got a significant downturn in the market, then we find out who's actually done a good job of putting that plan together. True. So it's not always, woohoo, you know, man, look, I'm, man, I, I'm, I'm really up here. Well, anybody could do that. I mean, I, I love that. Only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. That is so cool. That is so Warren Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's for it. sure. That's for sure. That was and a good you know, one. You know what? You know the other one I like that he does, and I know we're gonna. I know we're gonna have to wrap it up and get that's off. That's okay. The air Go ahead, because we're gonna run out of time. But I love the 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 number one rule he has is never lose money. Uh huh. His number two rule. Never forget rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, there you I go. I love that. So, so number anyway, one rule. Why don't you tell them how to get in touch with us, tell them how to get a hold of us, and we'll get on out of here. All right, folks. Well, the number one rule, never lose money. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. And if you want to take advantage of that, well, give a call to Anthony Wright and the team at Retirement Specialty Group at 888-557-1993 to get your free financial GPS. Now, today's show is always towards retirees and pre-retirees. And we hope that you've picked up a nugget or two of useful information and enjoyed yourself along the way. And if you need help getting down that right road, that right path, well, then give a call to Anthony Wright. Uh, you know, you may already have a plan or you may need a second set of eyeballs on the existing plan that you have, but Anthony and the team can certainly help you. And it's uh, it's very easy to do, folks. All you got to do is give them a call, 888-557-1993. That's 888-557-1993 for your free financial GPS. Now, there's no obligation. It's simply a chance just to sit down, have a cup of coffee with the team and talk about about your specific financial situation. You know, the road to success has many twists and turns, but a financial GPS from Anthony Wright and Retirement Specialty Group can help you get to, but most importantly, through retirement. So as we get out of here, remember, text RSG to 555-888. Pick up your smartphone and text RSG to 555-888. Or call them at 888-557-1993. Well, Anthony, as always, thanks for joining me. And, uh, yeah, the producers, are they're, they're jumping up and down, waving at me. I got to go. I got to go. Thanks for being on the show this week, buddy. Thanks for having me, Mark. I always love being on here with you, buddy. Yes, sir. And we'll do it all again next week right here, same time, same channel, on Retire the Right Way with Anthony Wright. Have a good week, y'all. Information is for illustrative purposes only and does not constitute tax, investment, or legal advice. Always consult with a qualified investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.